Today we have a Galaxy Note 9 that is not turning on. We'll take a charge to show you here uh, what's going to happen when we plug it in to our meter. We'll see that it is staying at 5 volts and it is pulling about 0 0.09 amps. Now I've already taken the back of this off, so uh, the back panel in this upper area here, and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery so there's nothing to charge at this point. And when we plug it in, we are still getting roughly the same draw. I think actually exactly the same amount of power being drawn here. So what that would indicate is that there's something here that is pulling some current when it really shouldn't be. And what we're going to do for that reason, because there's current going into the phone, it should be generating some heat somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and get the thermal camera so we can take a look. It's not going to be a lot of heat because it's such a low amperage draw, but with any luck this will pick up on our camera. So when I plug this in, you'll see that we are generating heat right over here. And what that is going to be is a big spot on this side of the board, we don't really have anything here in this area. But if we take a look on the other side, we will see that there are a number of different components. And one of the circuits that's in that area will be our main power rail. So we're going to take this under the microscope right now. Because fortunately, there is an area, there's actually a capacitor we can check right here. And see what kind of diode reading we get from that one. I'm going to put my red probe on ground. There's actually a Wi-Fi IC up here we can just use uh, the back of this put our red probe on and while I do that I'm gonna put the black side right over here and you'll see oops not there right over here and we've got straight to ground this is actually the ground on the outside but the inside this is our main power rail and it is going straight to ground so um, that means that one of two things we've either got a main power rail short or something that is connected to that because we have a number of coils on the other side of the board which are going to go to various circuits so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the board out so that we can get a better look and hopefully figure out where this is coming from okay so I'm actually looking at the back side of the board and uh, one of the other things is that we do have a charging IC right up underneath this which is where I kinda suspect that the heat might be coming from um, we're going to see if we can get something to show up on the camera, but it may not because we've got this layer of uh, tape here. By the way, we have ruled out the charge port, so we already tried a new one and that didn't do us any good. And I am now looking at the back side of the board here, and we're going to see if we can find where the heat is coming from. Now the thing about this is, as you can see, one, we've got this little cover here. Uh, in addition to that, there's a charging IC underneath this tape. So I don't expect to be able to see very much right now, but let's give it a shot anyways, just to find out what happens. With the power supply connected, I'm injecting one volt at 0.5 amps. It is pulling the voltage down to 0.4, and there is absolutely no heat here. So as I suspected, it only looks like the short is coming from the power IC. It is almost definitely coming from somewhere else that we won't be able to see until we take the shield off. Uh, but my guess is it, it is dead short somewhere. And I don't know where that is just yet. So I'm going to raise it up to one volt, or excuse me, one amp, and see if we get heat coming through one of these shields. I doubt it, but we'll give it a shot. That's about as high as I want to go here. Okay, so we're pulling one volt at one amp. And if anything, looks like our heat's coming from over here 
on the far edge of the board. Let's keep an eye on that. And look at that. It looks like our problem is more likely to be over here somewhere. Yep, I think our issue is gonna be under this shield right here. So fortunately, we didn't start tearing everything apart just yet. Okay, time for this shield to go. Look at that. Just real quickly, I'm gonna point out, it's like we've got a tiny bit of corrosion right here. I do not suspect that is the short itself, but we'll double check to see if it's connected to something that is. It's very unlikely. Surprised I missed that, honestly. Usually pretty good about seeing this stuff. That's 0 0.37, 0 0.43, that's ground. And that is, that is uh, 0.729. So that's not the problem. But there's a good chance that we've got some moisture under here. That's my guess, anyways. So, just gonna clean this up anyhow. We don't need that stuff on there. And I'm just gonna confirm there's no way that that's connected to the main power rail because that would be disappointing. Let's see. No. Uh, well, that resistor actually goes under the chip that's inside there, but I strongly suspect that's not the issue. I think we have a bigger problem under here. All right, I don't see any liquid, but we do have a chip that is known to fail. This MBPO2 can often be your problem, but it could also be one of these capacitors, like maybe, maybe this one. Probably not, but it's possible. All right, check under the camera again. See if we can find the heat. Uh, this one looks a little funny right here. I don't know if that's normal or not. But I'll uh, let the board cool down and we shall see. So I'm still very suspicious of this capacitor and I hate to pull that chip if we don't need to. So I'm going to put a little rubbing alcohol on here. I've actually dropped the current down to 0.5 so things don't heat up quite as fast. Still looks like the corner of that chip is the first thing to get warm. I'm going to go ahead and raise this up to uh, one and a half amps. See if we can make something boil. Yeah, it still looks like the chip instantly. All right, go ahead and take it down. All right, let's check, let's see. And we've got 
got 0.263. So I think we had a bad chip. I didn't clean this up yet because there's always a possibility we're just going to put it back on. But uh, in this case, I believe we have solved the issue. So we'll get a new MBPO2, clean this up, drop it in there. Let's remember which direction this thing goes. So the dot is, it must be up here because I can't see it. I can always go back and watch the video. I, can't, I literally can't see the dot because of the flux. That's funny. If you clean these off quickly, it's much easier. There we go. Top right hand corner That's where we're going. We're going to clean this up first. I think I just bridged these two capacitors right there. So we need to take care of that. There we go. Finally. All right. These two, not worried about. They're on the same line. That won't be a problem. I just didn't want to be connected to the one next to it. That would have been bad. All right, so let's go ahead and get our chip and uh, try to remember which way the same faces. I'm gonna let that dry up a little bit. That should do the trick. All right, still no short. So we'll do a test before we put the shields back on, make sure everything's working well as much as we can. I'm sure we have a password on here. But I think that'll do the trick. And yeah, I'm not worried about these. These are fine. They're on the same line. I know they're crooked. If I really wanted to be picky about it, I could pull one of those off and clean it up, but this is not going to be a problem. So, let's see if we can turn this thing back on. I'm not going to put the cameras or anything in just yet, just in case. I'll just make sure this sucker is going to work. Where is my charge port? All right, we are charging, and uh, I'll let it go up a couple percentage points before I power it up. All right, we are at 4%. I think that's it. No, there we go. All right, we have a out-of-focus Galaxy Note 9 working again. So all I have to do now is put the shields back on and we'll be ready to go.